Intel is very committed to open source. We have a slight advantage that our main goal in life is to sell hardware. So the more we encourage open source, the more people will buy our hardware. And uh, we've demonstrated that by being very firmly behind uh, Zen as an open source hypervisor and uh, promoting virtualization, the enterprise, the cloud, the data center. We just want to make it available everywhere if at all possible. The data center um, is con under constant pressure to reduce costs, which means they need to reduce the number of the amount of hardware they have available. Virtualization gives them the ability to utilize excess cycles and basically do more with less. And that's what virtualization gives them and you know, something like an open source Zen gives them a very cost effective way of doing that. Intel is recognizing that cloud, cloud computing is kind of here to stay and people really want it. Um, cloud computing really depends upon a virtualized environment. Uh, for the open source world, we recognize that Zen is a very primary mover in the uh, virtualization environment for open source and therefore we are going to be pushing uh, support for Zen in a cloud environment. Uh, just going forward, we recognize the cloud needs that and we're going to provide it. If you want to talk about the difference between Type 1 and Type 2 hypervisors, uh, Type 1 runs in the bare metal, Type 2 runs inside an operating system. So uh, to me, I prefer the security aspects of a very small hypervisor running on bare metal versus a hypervisor running inside the very large attack surface available to an operating system. And from that perspective, Zen clearly is the hypervisor of choice. There will always be a market for Type 1 hypervisors. There will always be a market for open source hypervisors. Therefore, there will always be a market for Zen.